Hello guys, this is Andy from Monkey Visual, and this time I'm gonna give you an overview of the asymmetry compulsion and the workflow of this set if you got the project for asymmetry. So the way I set this project is I just try to make that every screen has its own independent content. Basically you see here that like in the previous video, if you didn't check, you should go and check it. We got input A and input B for each screen, just to have like a fading effect. So input A is the input that will be shown by default. And the input B is what we just fade. In asymmetry, we got this fade all screens. This will take all the screen to input A from A to B and the B and from B to A. So that's the way it works. So if I click here, it will take them all to B to be uh to be input sorry sorry for that uh basically the well this mapping as you see here in the video i got this grid which was mapped to that screen uh you should check the previous video how i did it but it was inside unreal and also and uh, you can like you know you have this trigger for fade a single screen and all you need to do is just put a number on the screen depending on how many screens you have in this case I got seven screens but you know it starts from zero it, it will be zero one two three four five and six so if I put six here it's already there and, and hit face single screen it will take only that screen to its a value let's suppose that I want to say one zero one two three four number four let me just hit go to number four and hit enter and I'm going to fade as you see it will be faded to the to its a value so this is the number four as you can see number four I got this simple texture and but I can like let me just drag a video I don't know an intense video whatever let me drag this flower and number four and then okay let me Oh, is that normal for? Oh, yes. Let me just fade again. We got this, okay? So it's better to like switch the video when they are not seen because that's a what that's why I made it that way. So when they're not seen, I just fade the video. Okay, guys, that's it. Basically, that's the way I set this project, and I hope you liked it. Did you like it? If you got the set from the store, thank you, thank you so much. Feel free to ask me a question. If you haven't gotten, you can go ahead and get it and check it out yourself. So basically, later on, we're working on more tutorial. I'm gonna create a tutorial like this. We're, not, we're gonna create this type of screens from scratch. And that's it, guys. So any question you have, there is a form in the description that you can ask me or you can even join Discord. And thank you so much, guys.